were not intended. Damn it. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah. You do not get to fish. What? Well, actually, uh, after last time, I was like, you know what? I'm fine with it. <laughs> Go build. I planted stuff just a couple hours ago, so just, I don't think there's anything to harvest yet. I just about finished the farms unless we got a bunch of new animals. Uh, well, I mean, we've always had a bunch of new animals, but now you have a whole bunch of room to the east. I bought the land there. Well, some of it. Winter time! No longer winter time, it's springtime. Oh, jeez! It's still snowing on my screen. Hey, wait, that's just like where I live. It's springtime, but it's still snowing. <laughs> <laughs> buy another metal. So we have 83 million golds, and that's actually not a lot. Oh, you made, built one of the super warehouses. Yep, and I've upgraded it quite a bit too. As you can see from our storage. Holy Moses, yep. Okay, so here, here's what I need you to do. I need you to organize the animals such there is a spot where the easiest and quickest ways to get milk are put all together. Because I have yes. I have a desperate need for milk, so what I'm gonna do is I, I keep the game on overnight so that my so like my the things go keep fishing. And the fish is worth a lot of money. Like one night, like an, like you know, when I go to bed and I sleep for six hours, I come back and there's usually like twenty to twenty five million more gold. And of course capped fish. Because fish caps in like three hours now. But if we, if you can get the milk organized such that I can leave a, uh, a couple of, uh, farmhands there to collect milk overnight, and then I can turn it into cheese, or no, not cheese, I'll keep it as milk, uh, I need cheese for upgrading the storage, but the milk, I can, I can make fish, the fish curry everywhere. Okay. I'm making fish curry everywhere, that will give us enough tickets to make all the furniture that we'll ever want. For getting diamonds, I, as you can see, I'm abusing turmeric right now. Every place that's not uh, sprinkler has turmeric, and turmeric is worth, I think, 32 diamonds each now. Ooh. The only issue is that planting turmeric everywhere there costs 20 million. Huh. But we have we have lots of money now. Okay. I'm just going to go through and feed all the animals that need it here, and then I will start uh, moving things around, and then I'll build after that. Yeah, because you'll have enough time to do that. I'm sure you will. You won't. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh, avocados! Yeah, I'm picking up the avocados, the quest item. It should be done. And then what do we gotta get? Clownfish and ducklings. Clownfish will be easy. Quit clowning around. I will make sure the ducklings are... Uh, have a farmhand near them. I just take the farmhands from where the flowers are. I just had them there. The farmhands up here with the trees, I actually have made a little spot with like a bunch of different things. So all things that give diamond, nice to wheat you, uh, the ones that bring up vegetables every day, fruit every day, uh, cloth, grapes, nuts, and mushrooms. Oh, the ducklings are being taken care of. I think I just had a quest to get like 300 ducklings. Ducklings are fast, but they also need a ton of food, so that's why... Uh... I've come to really like how much the fish are worth considering how many fish we have over there. I think it's actually weird though that ducklings give eggs. I mean, they're ducklings. Kids having babies is one of those teen pregnancy shows. So in all the sprinkler spots I've been planting chard. Okay. chard. Chard is worth about 20k now, so it's like 8k profit per unit. Oh jeez. And for the things that boost stuff, I've only really been doing the fish and the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, plants. I haven't really been doing the animal stuff, just because I don't harvest the animals as much. The plants I harvest all the time, and the fish are always being harvested, so I figure it's a better way to spend our money. It's also like 8 million gold to upgrade them now, so... Yeah. And I've been spending a lot of gold just buying uh, metal from the gift shop. Ooh, better get the arcane horses so I can get those free gold nuggets. We also have a shitty quest for uh, red tea. Alright, I guess I'll go through the houses and spend an hour and a half doing the stuff in here. Oh, look! Okay, so oh, first no. things first is I will organize the uh, um, animals how you want, but then I think I'm going to move all those little half pens that I have and go straight across towards the fish. I might move some of those pens in the south too that don't quite make a 4x4. Uh, four four. Are you going to make them half pens or are you actually going to reorganize and make them full pens? Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to take out the half pens I have and I want to take out... Um, where, uh, where the two is. Man, you're really playing with your Van Island. Damn it. 
<laughs> but yeah, the land's expensive right now. Like, 20,000 is nowhere near enough to buy the land. I was like 28,000, I think. Oh, jeez. That's why I'm, I'm abusing turmeric. The harvesting the entire thing of turmeric, I think I get like forty or fifty thousand uh, diamonds. So I've been kind of like upgrading the storage a bit and upgrading uh, just buying the land. As you can see, I've started working on how I'm gonna set up the trees. If you look on the map. Yep. Might have to move your get rid of your mic as a doofus thing there. I mean, you can get rid of it. I'm working through all that, getting vegetables from rabbits. So, for the milk thing, just find the four with the lowest duration. I don't care how much I'm, they're worth. I'm just gonna grab uh, pretty well everything that does milk and start. Um, let's see, on the map. Do you want me to go any farther west or just straight east? Uh, I have to look at the map quickly, but I'm inside a house doing the stuffs. I mean, if you're gonna go west, you have to bust through Mike as a doofus. Yeah, I'm just not sure where you have planned. I know you said I could go east, so... I mean, if you want to start, like, right beside the fish, you can. That's all the fish. I'm not going to put in any more fish. I won't go any farther uh, west then. I'm just going to go straight uh, east. Alright, I think I'll put I'll wipe out the Micah's Doofus in and put five more sets of trees there, because I think that's all that'll fit. Because up on the left side there, I can fit 50 different... I'm going to fit 50 different types of trees there. But then I need five more, because there's 55 different types of trees. And I can fit the five more where the Mike is a doofus. I think this is an actual landmark now, Mike is a doofus. Yeah, just do it. I'm, so I'm trying to learn the last music too, so I've just put up enough Ode to Joy to learn the last music, and it's gonna cost like 6,000 diamonds or something like that. So you wanna hear a story about me being petty and silly and stupid? Sure. Let's uh, so, add another one to the list. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you'll like this one. So uh, in this game, you know how, like, during my Optimus just log on, harvest everything, and then just like, you know, prepare for next time. Yep. I stopped doing the stuff in your house because it takes an extra 10 to 15 seconds to go the distance to the things that... You're welcome. <laughs> oh wait, what goats are these? Sane and goat. What do they give? All goats give milk. Our mushroom soup is really high level, level 44. It's too bad level does like nothing for it. So I've already relearned all the extra vegetables that we needed, like the DLC ones. So we have all vegetables open, all tree, uh, all the trees except for one open. These are like no DLC food, music, or paintings. I was gonna need a shitload of metals just to plant more flowers. Buy another metal. <laughs> Cause I have to move some flowers. I have to move all the flowers over one. That way I can have a full five rows of trees. So one of the flowers only comes up once a week, eh? Oh jeez. When I harvested, they're worth like 60-something thousand each. That's actually pretty big. That's that's the that's most, she isn't said. it? That's, that's the, the most you can get, get from anything? anything? Uh, I think... I know there's animals that, uh... The last animals that you put down that are worth 150k each, those ones you can harvest for like 60 to 70k as well. The only difference is you have to keep feeding them a lot, right? Yeah. The flowers, in terms of like pure profit per unit, is really high for this one. The only problem is, the profit per time is not exactly very high, because it takes, you know, seven days. Seven days to die. Uh, we're still recovering on that one. <laughs> I feel super useful actually getting everybody all that learning. Yeah. It's because I'm a killing machine in that game. I'm a killing machine in this game, killing that turmeric. <laughs> it's not a turmeric. <laughs> I was just gonna say that too. <laughs> That's the metals I needed. Yeah, I always make sure, like, when I get, like, the teas, I always put the, uh, sprinklers on those. Because they're uh, always good to have, right? Yeah, because they give, like, 70 to 100 diamonds each. Oh, jeez. So you only want to lose half of that. Considering how expensive they are, to put, they are to put down as well. For example, I need, uh, the last two plants I need are saffron and black tea, and black tea is going to cost me... 378 medals to put down. That's big. That's what she said. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, while fish may not be the biggest profit, they're like the lowest maintenance shit. Yeah. No, and... Really nice. I mean, trees are low maintenance, but they are absolutely garbage for profit. Yep. 
They're good for resource farming is what I find. So if you need certain diamond, if you need diamonds or certain resources. Yeah. That's why I actually have it set up so that they're like, the resources are, uh, I have like a little section just strictly for resources. And I like when a quest pops up from them because they're very easy to harvest. Queen of Night Tulips are actually worth quite a bit too. Like all the tulips, they're like a three day thing, I think. But the Queen of Night Tulips are worth like, I think like 30k. That's actually pretty big too. So she said, Dang it! <laughs> all the high value ones I have sprinklered. But if I, can, if I can maintain getting this much profit, I can actually start buying a bunch of metals just from the gift shop. Getting profit from animals just frustrates me. Yeah, you pretty well need uh, farm hands on them 24-7. Horses take a super long time for uh, to get anything from them. I think some of the horses are like 24 hours. Because they're always horsing around. Yep. Yeah, that's why I like The fish is like, leave farm hands here. Profit. That's why in my single player game I have long stretches of animals that are all fed together so that I just have one farm hand for, uh, feeding like 2,000 animals. Just that when it comes to harvesting, it takes a while. Okay, I've got everything that makes milk in one spot, starting from the farthest west. You, sh you should build a sign there that has the picture of milk on it, so I know. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all cows and uh, goats. We have farmhands working it already? Yep. How did a chicken get out of the pen? Pen Island. Like, even bellflowers on 12 hours are worth like 5k. And 7.5k. That's like another several hundred k golds. It's like 75, 75, 75, 75 k. Monies. There we go, I have the uh, ducklings being taken care of still too. Eggs! So get 90 clownfish, that'll be taken care of tonight. You know what happens if you use sleight of hand on a rock? You pomegranate. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so I think our next objective... We have to finish... Okay, I have to finish learning the last tree. And then I have to learn the last two flowers. Or at least plant the last two flowers, I've probably already learned them. And then all the rest of the metals we need to put into getting the last couple of farm hands. And then I can just dump all diamonds into buying land. And once we bought all the land, we can decorate our houses, and then our farm will be complete! Farm Together Roadmap 2020. It's a heat wave! Water is... what is it like? It's like 60% less effective or something like that. And sprinklers are just like, fuck you! It's like, heat wave occurs. Sprinklers like, fuck you! Winter occurs, winter's just like, fuck you, sprinklers! Yeah. I think these arcane horses really made a difference, though. That's actually pretty crazy, the, uh... What is it, uh, seasonal event? Let's see, plant 18 horses that take 5 hours, and they give you a, a gold nugget when you harvest them. I'm not sure if that's their actual resource by leveling, I'll have to look it up. But if you get them to, like, 50, level, like, 50 or 60, and they give you 2 gold nuggets, that'd be crazy overpowered. Yeah, that would. I don't think it would, but... Oh no, the diamond is there, uh, the money, and then the resources, uh... Oh, so if I if I go to your farm and get powered up, I think I can get double gold nuggets from them. Yes, yes you can. Is the reorganization of Penn Island becoming successful? Oh, uh -huh. it's starting, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of work. <sighs> yeah, well that's what this game is. Touche. Also, foxgloves for a whole bunch of extra diamonds. Level 100 farm! Awesome! That's actually a uh, building cap. Oh! Level 100 farm gives you access to all, f like, building stuff. Furniture, buildings. Because you can buy the last piece of land, I think, at level 70. And I think our long quests are worth 40 now, which is cap as well. 40 uh, medals. That means there are going to be rare occasions where it's just like, yeah, the pink tulips, go get 690 of them. That'll be much. And stupid things like that. So yeah, spring and summer have become my favorite seasons in this game. Spring for turmeric and summer for chard. Let's get recharded. I did that guy a favor, man. He was a rechard. You know where I learned to farm? The school Where's of that? chard Knox. Chard Knox. <laughs> Imagine if all those plants like just came up and started attacking us and killing people. It'd be chards against humanity. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah. 
In uh, FF14, do you play a uh, do you play a uh, dancer, machinist, or chard? <laughs> Alright, just about finished harvesting the flowers. Oh yeah, because I keep the fish running overnight, they're almost at level 100 for some of them, I think. Oh jeez. Which is crazy. A uh, trout is at level 101. Yeah, so we have a good portion of fish that are over level 50, so that's some pretty sweet profit. Especially for the zero, uh, you know, work put into them. <laughs> yep. Pretty sure we've already broken even on all the fish. Okay, I'm just moving one more set of animals here quick. I'm gonna come check out Penn Island. Well, most of it's just getting cleaned out yet, so... I'll harvest these guys. Oh, wait, you're sticking them all close together like this? No, it's just uh, I'm putting them down before I, well, I, uh, before I put the pens up. I'm just trying to get everything moved, and it's faster to move everything instead of thinking about where I'm putting things to just put them. And I gotta go grab a bunch more turkeys. I'm just gonna finish moving those turkeys, and I'll be good. And you saw it to the far west, you can see how I'm gonna organize the trees, right? I started building the roads, but then I'm just like, I got shit to do. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to recycle some of the stuff, but I think I'm just gonna actually, <laughs> instead of recycling a bunch of this crap, because it's gonna be easier to just, uh, re well, uh, recycle it and then, uh, build new stuff. And all it is is half the, <laughs> you just lose half the cost of it. Unless the stuff is cheaper. The stuff costs, like, one diamond, then you recycle it for one diamond. Yeah. The fences are all one diamond. The roads are two, and the gates are three. Actually, no, I think the fences are two, and the gates are five, and the roads are three. You use rustic fence, that's two. Yeah. Alright, now you know it's time for... Movie magic! Movie magic! Quick blood out, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it wasn't me who did it last time. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> it was me like the 3,000 other times. Damn it, it's autumn. And there's nothing planted anywhere. Oh, there's chard. Let's harvest chard. Actually, can you go and get the house stuff done? That would be awesome if there weren't 50 million houses. <laughs> you know the gift shop that uh, sells the uh, metal for 250,000 golds? If you ever pass yeah. by it and it's up, just go ahead and, and buy one. Uh, it just popped right now. I've just been buying metals whenever I can. I figured the, the... Yeah, the... The amount of uh, money we get from fish now is so high that we can just keep buying metals. But they actually are metals. Well, they're... they're metals is ribbons. ribbons. <laughs> they're, they're place ribbons. But yeah, no, the game actually in the notes calls them metals. So I'm just going to keep calling them ribbons. Because <laughs> they look more like ribbons to me. Yeah, same. Man, I kind of want to go to Montana's and get my rib on. <laughs> That place has good fish and chips. I like good crispy fish and chips. Yes. A lot of places that I go to where it's just frozen and they just thaw and it's soggy as fuck. It's annoying. The batter has to crunch. Batter up? But I know the person who's one of the managers at the local Montana and yeah, I know he says like they actually like, you know, coat it and fry it. They don't it's not pre frozen, which is a lot better. So what I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for spring so I can plant turmeric everywhere. Oh yes, I also bought some more land. Oh jeez. Uh, what painting do you want me to do? Uh, the flower one. The, uh, what is it? The one that's worth 50 and it gives one metal? Sorry, Ribbon. The one that's worth... Oh, uh, the one that costs 50. Yep. The sunflower. Yes. Better get some blue wisteria. It'll be two wister blue wisteria short. Jeez. What? This is this is kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> it's more annoying when there's music to play too. Well, it's not bad when the houses are offset, but uh, all the ones you built recently are uh, on the same length or wavelength. So I've been buying lots of cheese too, because some of the upgrades now take like sixty cheese. That's cheese. Oh, cheese. Hey, Poppy. I think see now we need hundred and eighty flowers. Uh, I think new land now is in the 40k diamond range. Jeez. Yeah, the last... We have 10 more plots of land to buy, and that's going to be about 600k uh, diamonds to get all of them. 
However, I've been abusing turmeric. Turmeric is amazing. You plant like a thousand of them, a thousand of them, and end up getting like thirty-six thousand diamonds. Oh jeez. Tamarind should be finished in four seasons, because that one's up hundred percent of the time. I'm pretty sure. Oh okay. And there's still fishing going on. Jeez, after I finally finished all this houses stuff, I actually have to go back to the animals. Finish sorting out the pens. An island? Yeah. I'm thinking of moving the jam the jam that cheese dolls to the northwest where Mike is a doofus is. <laughs> and, and then putting a uh, point of interest there so you can just teleport up there. That'd work, yep. Yeah. Just because they kind of get in the way over here where they're at right now. Or now I'm going to stick stones in the ground. We're going to do the grid setup. And then sort by uh, specific material. Oh, I also capped out our. Uh, what is it? The farmhands. I bought all the rest. Okay. So we can't get any more farmhands. Farmhands are done. <laughs> Mike is a doofus. <laughs> I thought you'd really like that. I laughed when I saw it. Continue to build my stone path grid. Keep it rustic. Don't buy, like, expensive fucking rainbow bridges and shit. Cause that's not what a farm looks like. Exactly. Dirt roads and gravel and... Rock paths. Plank paths. It looks like a real farm, this one. Well, okay, maybe you don't want 35 barns around, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. There are farms that uh, have a lot. Oh yeah, isn't like we're not a farm, we're an entire province? Yeah. A Saskatchewan more so, but... Yeah, I'd be Saskatchewan if there was no none of the hills in the middle. So then you can get back to working on Penn Island. I'll focus on getting this grid complete. Make it so nobody can get in, it'll be a grid lock. You know what I made this place out of? The stone trail? This is a grid rock. <laughs> Dang it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the uh, farmhands actually run out of time. Because that way when we use the uh, farmhands union, it'll, it'll get all of them instead of just like, you know, different times from when we put them down. That's true, yeah. Let's sync them up. That just means every hour we're gonna have to pay 30 tickets. Oh yeah, check, double check animals. I'm not sure if we need any for quests that we don't have already. Also, glowy mushroom shit. Spore palm tree. Spore palm? Sounds like a Pokemon or something. Oh, looks like we need one set of animals for the thingy and it's being covered. See, I think the, uh, the guys finished off their fishing and it got us about 10 million gold. I think leaving it on overnight gets like 20 to 30 million gold now from our fish, which isn't too bad. No. Alright, get out of my piece of paper. Alright, your spice and diamonds, there's five different types. Vegetables, there's five different types. And flowers, there's five different types. So I think they put the more rare stuff down towards the south. Honestly, the more rare stuff, just the more things like not fruit. I think I'll start it with diamonds, though. I think you just be like, if you need any resources, just throw the, uh... All the farmhands out here. Let them grab all the resources. Just build a gigantic gigantic pl plot of apple trees. It's like, sure, you only get 30,000 golds per... <laughs> while leaving it on overnight, but you're also stuck with, like, 86,000 fruit. Oh, we have all the trees open. Finally. <laughs> Goodbye, metals. Boink. I barely even knew them. Is it winter? Winter's coming. Winter came. That's lewd. I mean, you're not doing anything. Might as well move you up here and let you harvest some stuff. You know, I think some of these trees can be worth it if they're harvested every single season they're up, but... Who wants to do that kind of work? Looks like I have to start saving some, uh, metals just for... ...some trees. Probably gonna buy a bunch of point of interest here, too. But that's okay, you, you get 35 points of interest max, and that's plenty to cover everywhere. Oh, okay. And if I really want to organize, that, organize stuff, I'll make a tree diagram. Not a Venn diagram? Your face is a Venn diagram. Oh, the one where they have, like, the vehicles intersecting, that's a van diagram. <laughs> oh, there's cloves. Yeah, there's the clove trees. So cinnamon, then cloves, then... I think it's, like, rubber, money tree... Just moving shit around. That's what I'm doing. You're playing with Pen Island, right? You're playing with your Pen Island! <laughs> Penis joke! Take some of these trees and put them over your head. Then you can... Uh -huh. Then you can rubber pen island. Alright, rubber trees here. Collect fruit. 
I still find it odd that there's no like super jam station, like the super cheese station. Yeah. I also have to work on black tea as well. That shit's expensive. Hey look, magnolias. Magnolia is a hard word to come up with a pun. <laughs> Pecans are worth 650 each. Okay, let's start getting these animals sorted out again. Makes me want to sing the Ted DiBiase theme. Money, 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 money. Money trees. Freaking dog being a butt right now. Doing nothing but scratching at the freaking door while I'm trying to be busy. Hey, God damn it, dog. I'm trying to record a video. Well, she's a puppy. She's like, I want to go, go, go. I want to play outside. I want to play outside. And then you let her outside and it's like, I want in, I want in, I want in. It's like, come on. How old is the doggy? Um, she will be about eight months. And how does that translate into our years? Uh, it's time seven, right? Well, I don't know what the conversion rate is. Yeah, one, one, it's seven. One, one is seven years in dog years. So, I mean, she, that means she's getting close to like five years old, so that means, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Let me out, let me back in, let me out, let me back in. Alright, so there is the row of diamonds. Plant more rubber. <laughs> Alright, what shall row two be? Or not to be. Not to be explosion in the background. Do you remember that? Uh, was it a Hamlet with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh jeez! <laughs> that was from, uh, what is it, Last Action Hero? Yeah, Last Action Hero. To be or not to be. Lights up a cigar and not to be an explosion in the back. <laughs> what do you say? What does that old guy say? Like, stay your hand, fa like fair, like warrior. And he's like, who says I'm fair? And he just shoots him with an Uzi. All right, so let's get flowers in the next one. It means all the magnolias need a plot and cactus. I just about got all the animals moved to their proper space. Then I gotta move all the pens about. And then I gotta see if we need more animals. Actually, I should do that right now. No, we only need a one animal, and it is uh, already being harvested. Pair everything off, get some more metals, sell some fish, because why not? Might as well stick apples in the far northwest, but I can't remember where I put the apples. Alright, so that'll be flowers. Then above it, we can probably put cloth, mushrooms, grapes, and wheat. The grapest. Nice to wheat you. I'll put cloth with the fruit. It's because cloth we generally don't need as much of because it's harvested from donkeys. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'll go with nuts. How convenient. Almonds are right here. We also need the walnuts, hazel, pecans. But you know what? I need help. For your help for a minute, for a couple minutes here before we uh, call it. You see the season change? No. Nope. I'm not gonna ask you to get trees. I don't see anything. All right, all the non sprinkle areas help me plant turmeric. Just turmeric everywhere. Yeah, use up some of this gold, turn it into diamonds. Turmeric abuse. Really, is it worth so many diamonds? And since we have it at like level fifty now, it's like I think like thirty-six diamonds each. And I think if you plant everywhere right now, I think you can plant a thousand or close to it. Oh, jeez. Which is why I need your help, otherwise we'll be here for like an, another hour planting. Blackthorn level up. Oh yeah, that's the one that gives grapes. They're grape! Alrighty. Alright, you wanted me to let the farmer's union run out. I can go ahead and pay them now, I'll let it run out, run out overnight. Uh, and you said turmeric? Yep, six and a half hours worth 10k. Planted Jeez, everywhere. Right. What? It does uh, cost a bit to plant it all. I mean, it'll cost us like, what, 10 million to plant it everywhere, but we'll get like 40,000. Almost 40,000 diamonds out of it. Buy another plot of land. What are you plotting? The plot thickens. I just think with land expansions, I'm gonna have even more space to plant these. Like I said, it's gonna be like another five to 600,000 diamonds to buy the, all the rest of the land. It's not an exaggeration, it's probably a little more than that. And that's like two million diamonds to upgrade the storage fully. Jeez. Actually, it's probably more than that. But hey, that's what keeps me going playing this game. Must farm more stuff. It's not too bad. We spent like, what, 10 million planting 
Yeah, it was about it was about ten million. It's not too bad. Ten million is not much now. Like I, said, I think in the duration of this episode, the farmhands on the east have already fished up more than ten million gold. Oh geez, there's a bunch of new land over there that, like you said, that <laughs> just hasn't doesn't have uh, anything done with it yet. Yep. All right, we did it, buddy. I'm gonna go check out Penn Island now. The animals yeah. are actually uh, spread out proper now. Now I just gotta move all, all this. That milk. Yo, uh, I was gonna say if you wanted to move the jam and everything to this area here, because this is gonna be empty again, right? Okay. Just fence in the jam stalls. Well, the fence is gonna be moved. Like, uh, I uh, no, I, no, I, jam needs hay bales. We're adding hay to our jam. Damn it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Hey, guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a comment, like it, and share it. You can click on the left button if you want to subscribe, and the right one to watch more Farm Together. Thanks for watching.